so-called conventional IVF, which is uh, IVF uh, done by conventional way, and uh, which is the uh, majority IVF center is currently using conventional IVF. And the, uh, the general uh, steps for conventional IVF is uh, uh, prior of the woman starting her cycle, and we give women and the two to three weeks uh, birth control pill, try to suppress her ovary. And uh, for the long protocol, we also give patient Lupron suppression. And uh, after the woman studying her menstrual cycle, and uh, starting from cycle day three, we study going the shopping, including Manipur, Ghana F, Forestim. And uh, depends of the dosage of medication. Patient could be uh, vary from 150 to 600 units of gonadal chopping a day. And after the daily injection, and uh, uh, if you're using antagonist protocol, and when the follicle reaches about the, uh, 13, 14 millimeter, and then we add the gonadal relax and try to suppress of uh, LH surge. And uh, uh, for those patients, and continue uh, monitoring this patient, and the anterior follicle reaches about the 18 to 20 millimeter size, then give woman the HCG trigger, then uh, 36 hours later to do egg collection. And after egg collection, and we are uh, doing uh, fertilization, and uh, uh, usually about uh, uh, five days later, when the embryo reaches uh, blast, we do the embryo transfer. So after this whole uh, process, finish the conventional IVF. So in terms of the pros and the cons, the pros of a conventional IVF is uh, simple, and because you have a uniform of the format of the treatment protocols, almost can apply for every patient and using the same protocol. And we can produce many, many follicles and many, many eggs. And uh, so usually it's uh, suitable for patients as a young patient, and they have uh, lots of eggs, and it's, uh, uh, usually would not affect in patient uh, the cycle that much. The cons for the conventional IVF, number one, is uh, stressful because the patient will be used lots of medication and uh, uh, daily injection. And also the patient, because of uh, high dose medication, and there's uh, many of the side effects associated with the medication. For example, Ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome is one of the very common of the complication. And the woman, because of uh, uh, ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, could be developed of uh, uh, ascites and the lung, fruit collection in the lung and the stroke, and the even patient can die of this condition. And this is all because of the conventional IVF. And in addition, because of uh, conventional IVF use such a high dose medication, patient can produce many, many follicles, many, many eggs. And, uh, very often, and the patient will be have uh, many of the uh, surplus embryos will be never used. And uh, uh, lastly, and those, those patients because of a uh, high dose medication, very costly, and the patient could be spend uh, lots of money uh, for the medication.